How's it going everybody? This is Walker and welcome to the forest. Now I'm up here hiding from some filthy cannibals actually randomly like a whole god damn, whole flock of them just showed up out of nowhere and there they are. And that log is just really giving him some trouble there. Yeah there's like there's only two right there I think I've seen and there's another one. It's Big Papa. And the guys with the skull up see more, more of them. I think they're losing interest but anyway I decided to get back out into the forest and make another video I probably am only gonna do one video every update um, every time an update comes out just showing you showing off what I what I did so I took a different strategy this time than the last video last video I kind of put my uh, base up against a rock on the beach the only thing having a base on the beach is good because you you can see who's coming at you fairly far away but uh, building in the woods is a little bit better because resources are right there I chop trees down literally right next to my base to build walls and uh, it helps a lot so actually building a base in the woods especially if you have a treehouse is really good now the treehouse mechanics are semi broken and they s semi work I guess but um, as soon as these guys leave I'm gonna show you what I've been working on I really wish I had a bow and arrow I really don't know how to make bows uh, bow and arrows uh, but if I did have it, I can just like you know be shooting them. But this is a new tree house. I'll show you uh, what it's called here in a second. Actually, it should be shelter. Yes. Um, the alpine tree house. That's new in the update. I'll show you what else there's new. There's also the drawing rack which I have down there. Boats are new. I I hear the houseboat doesn't work. Here, actually, none of the boats uh, work yet. But uh, those aren't really new. And the gazebo. I'm actually working on a gazebo right now when those uh, MFers showed up and started, uh, you know, effing up my day. Try not to swear. Let's not swear in this video. Let's have a squeaky clean, kid friendly video here. And uh, I think that's it. I think that was all there was. They just added three new things. At least they added more effigies. No, that's it. Yeah, it's, it's all they added. I finally got the uh, modern axe to work. Every time I found a modern axe before, it would be invisible, which kind of pissed me off. They're still there. They're still there. They're not leaving. Let's get down and show them. See, uh, when I say that the treehouse mechanic is kind of broken, it kind of just built this stairwell here. And it got to kind of shimmy down it. But i I actually been uh, playing this quite a bit. What is that? Oh, yeah, I was working on logs. This game is absolutely beautiful. Now, I want them to optimize it a little better. Because right now, I mean, I get I don't know, 40 frames on it, but I think I sh should be able to do a little bit better shit. They're going to be cocky now because there's a lot of them, and I can't afford to die. Because I already came out of the cave once, so if I die, this is it. And uh, this took me hours to build. Damn it. Oh, no. Go up. Go up the ladder, please. Yes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Kind of just had a, a tarred moment there. Is he down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're scary. I get you. I get you. You're scary. I understand. They're really handsome, though. I honestly think. Anyway. Um, I really like this lake that I build it by. As long as there's no cannibals around, it actually is really beautiful. You go up and it starts playing this really peaceful music. Um, there's geese, you hear the, the geese call, and there's actually like baby deer here. When I first founded uh, Plymouth Cock here, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to be family friendly here, but uh, this base is going to be called Plymouth Cock. I mean, you can take that any way you want. Um, but uh, when I founded Plymouth Cock here, I said it three times, got to keep saying it, Plymouth Cock here. Um, I founded it. And there's baby deer. I've never seen baby deer in this game, mostly because I really never go far into the woods. I usually stick to the coast, which can get kind of boring. But there's actually fawns. There's little spotted fawns, and I was like, oh, it's so beautiful. And then, you know, I tried to kill it with an axe, but it didn't work. I know I'm terrible. It's a video game. Remember, kids, it's all video games. Kind of just babbling on here. I'm trying to wait till they leave. I think they might be gone. The great thing about a trio, so you get a bird's eye view, and it, it takes a long time to build, but in the end, it's definitely worth it. I mean, it, I had to cut down so many trees to build this thing, and to get so many sticks. But we're actually, I want to finish this wall because for some reason, the tree that I built my treehouse on and based around, um, it just disappeared. 
So I'm just gonna build this wall so at least it looks like. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, this is my uh, little Mormon type fort too. Got like a platform here. Uh, my first cabin. Kind of built my house around it. You gotta kind of jump to get up here for some reason. Now I have two fire pits. Oh wait. Oh shit. Oh, Freddy Krueger just came out of the bush. He was hiding. He was waiting for me. He was waiting for me. Oh, ow, ow! Why am I burning? Why am I on fire? Ow, ow! Why? Tell me why. Please answer to me why. Hold on. I don't have any food either. He was just glitching through that wall. That was kind of, that was kind of cray. Oh, I can eat. Yes. Need a dry rabbit. That's what the drying rack does. Um. Your life ends here, sir. Oh, he's like albino. Oh, he was like a leader, that's why. I just killed one of the... They're not going to be happy. I just killed one of their leaders. They're going to come back with full force. Anyway. What we have to do is chop down a few trees. Actually, this was all one dense forest. And Okay, scary music again. Where, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? I can take you. I can take you. Back off. They know exactly where I live, of course. So, like, they get all their buddies together, and they just come here, and they just mess with me. But I have a tree house. Like, um, you know, at nights where they're surrounding me, I'll just get up in my tree house. Um, usually my strategy is as soon as I notice it's getting dark, if I'm not close to my base, I'll just get back here and wait till it gets dark, and I'll just go right to bed. And, um, another key thing is you can kind of change where the trees fall by kicking them like that. I actually lost a lot of logs because I don't, I don't know where they fall half the time. It's kind of thick vegetation, so I don't really know where they fall. So, um, kind of silly. Yeah, let's put that log there. And then we had two more logs. A lot of a lot of time spent in this game is just chopping down trees. Honestly, that's what that's what the majority of your time is is spent doing. And uh, since I spent most of my life already chopping and splitting wood, it kind of just, you know, it gives me ease knowing that I can just do it in a video game. I'm just chop down the street, looks like someone already tried. Sticks, sticks, I'll just take that leg, why not? Who cares? No one judges you in video games. There we go, there we go. Anyway, okay, here's the peaceful music, I'll just, I'll just show it to you right now. You have the peaceful music, it's absolutely beautiful, I hope you guys can hear it. And uh, there's no, yep, so you're the keys. Absolutely gorgeous. For some reason, my frames lower actually substantially when I go into this lake. But uh, I think I was bloody, so we should wash it off. It's absolutely peaceful. I love it so much. I could just sit in here for hours, but we're not going to do that. I think I'll take a screenshot. And that'll be our little secret. If you tell anybody that I took that screenshot, I will come to your home and I will cut you. There's also these blackberries. I was trying to pick up logs and it kept feeding me the blackberries um, and it made me really mad. Stick. 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 And uh, I'm still waiting. This video will probably be up by the time I get it, but I'm still waiting for my graphics card to come in so I can get the code so I can uh, you know, install that and uh, get Alien Isolation because I'm going to be getting the, the code for three free games. So I'm going to get Alien Isolation, probably Star Citizen. And uh, that guy can shut the hell up over there. And probably Shogun Total War. That's probably what I'll do. We gotta. I don't think we need any more stuff. I took a rock. Didn't need a rock, but. I still. I keep hearing the calls of those filthy, filthy cannibals that smell like maple syrup. Is there a reason they smell like maple syrup? I think that's all the sticks I need. Is that all the sticks I need? Nope. I need about uh, five dozen more sticks. Chop down this this trizzle. This trizzle my nizzle. This trizzle my nizzle frizzle. J fizzle. Ice J fresh. Ice JJ fish. Ice Melissa. Um Chris Rock. Whatever happened to Chris Rock? Is he still around? Is he still alive? He hasn't done anything recently. Why am I talking about Chris Rock? What led me to think about Chris Rock? Stop it. There we go. Splendid. Splendid. Fantastic. Brilliant. Sexy. 
Kind of sounds like rain is hitting like a shovel, an old metal shovel. I, mean, I don't get kind of precise there, but it's exactly what it sounds like. Come on, damn stump. All right, one more tree, one more tree. And we'll get the freaking sticks, sticks. Pick up sticks. Back in the old 1800s, if you was bored, you went and you picked up sticks. I know it. I was there. We're still making up here. I need a. Oh, we did it. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven sticks. Hello. Stickies. Hey. Hey. Screw off. Screw off. Oh, you actually see, like, the reflection in the water. At least they're trying to do that, but it just looks weird. Yeah, they can just fuck off. Tree. A, a T-Rizzle is uh, what I like to refer to them as. Uh, T -R -E -E -Izzle. Why is it? That's not how you chop a tree. I don't know who you think you are. I don't know what kind of lumberjack school you went to, but that's not how you chop a tree. Here we go. I think this should be the last tree. What do you guys think? I think so. I think so. I think so. I think so. I, th I think it is. How many times can I say I think so before you guys unsubscribe? Yeah, I think so. I think it's... I mean, I, I'm not an expert, but I think so. I think that that should be it. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm not homosexual, but I think I might be so. Okay, we need more logs. Don't need more logs, Walker. Here we go, put the logs. On the roof, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven logs, shit. There's gonna be a couple more trees. Did I lose any logs, or was that it? Why am I asking you? I don't know. Another thing that I really don't like is it takes equally as long to chop down a giant tree as it does a, a really skinny tree. I say this tree is huge, it should take longer, but uh, it's like each strike does the an equal amount of like indentation. So like I'm chopping this big tree, right? And each swing's taking off a lot of wood. Um, but if I go here, it'll take away a little piece of wood. And if I chop down like pretty skinny trees, which doesn't actually give me logs, they just give me like, sticks. Um, like not those, but let me try to give you an example. Well, let me just grab this first. But um, you know, like skinnier trees that you can't just swing once. Like these are saplings, right? Um, like skin, like this right here. Like these things, you need to chop them down with an axe, and they just give you like four sticks or whatever. But uh, it takes an equal amount of swings to take down this tiny thing as it does like the giant tree that I just chopped down. Which, um, I really don't like. I mean, they can change that. But I mean, it is alpha, and Dylan is gonna get on my ass. Look, keyword, alpha. And uh, I know it's alpha, but I'm just kind of giving suggestions that they could fix. I mean, there is an endless amount of stuff that they can fix, and I, I really like these guys and, and what they do. I'm kind of sounding boring right now. So. I'll, I just want to get this gazebo built. I'll get this gazebo built, and then basically, if it does anything special, I'll show it to you. If not, we'll just end the video there, but uh, this is almost done, so. I'll pick up some sticky poos. There we go. I'm going to whisper essentially to you while I build this. Oh, you like that? You like the way I build gazebos? Do you like that? I can come to your house right now, take off my pants, and build a gazebo. Just all oiled up and sweaty, just hammering away all day at gazebos. Oh, you think gazebos are hot? Gazebos get me all hot and bothered. Nothing makes a man out of you except building a gazebo. And it's getting dark, so let's get this thing built. It's gonna fall right where I want it to fall. Yay! Right? There's more. I know there's more. 
Are you joking? No, there was more. There was more. Guess not. I guess I've been deceived. Who needs to go down here? Let's just lock it. Okay, what else do we need? We need some for the ground. Oh, we need sticks. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but dicks cannot go inside me. What? I didn't say that. I don't need... There's no fish in here, so I don't understand why there's, like, a fishing spear. Which I have one, and I used tree sap to upgrade it with teeth, and it didn't do anything. It's still... I mean, it's still a weak spear. I mean, I kind of... I had all these teeth, right? And I... You know, I put them on here. And you use the tree sap, and you can combine them. Really doesn't do much, though. Like, you know, it doesn't do much. Take a modern axe. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. This is how we do. Wait, how does that, um, how does that Katy Perry song go? It's like, um, this is how we do. Do, 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 do. This is how we do. This is how we do. Oh, gazebo's done. What does it do? Nothing. Gazebos are useless. Well, there you guys. There you go, guys. We wasted like 15 minutes building a gazebo. That's useless. Um, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I thought it was actually kind of boring towards the end. I'm sorry for that. But uh, and I build a fire actually because I'm cold and wet. There we go. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.